Hey everyone, this is the fifth video in a series all about getting into the games industry and today I'm talking about portfolios and what I look for as a recruiter in the games industry. On my YouTube channel, I've got a 15 minute long video where I screen share five different portfolios and talk live through them all and let you know what I'm thinking and what I really like about all of those. So if you're up for a longer video, uh, take a look at the link below. Firstly, with portfolios, make sure they are easily accessible, like a personal website or perhaps even using a social network like ArtStation to show all of your work is totally fine. You want to make sure that you can link it easily in an application or on your CV or resume. And also that, say if you're just at a games conference or walking down the street and you meet someone in the games industry, you can pull it out on your phone really, really easily and say, hey, take a look at my work. Just a thought on personal websites though, I highly encourage using something like Wix, Squarespace or WordPress templates. Um, very rarely do I see someone building a website entirely from scratch look as professional as something where a template would be totally fine. Focus on quality over quantity. I, I really do think it's better to include two or three amazing pieces rather than everything you've ever done. And the reason for that is that your portfolio should be a showcase of your current skills. Now what employers are really looking for is your thought process. We of course want to see your end result and the quality of your work. But I would argue even more importantly, we want to see how you got there. Lay out perhaps in like a blog style, the concept through to completion. Like what challenges did you have to overcome to actually get this work complete? What tools did you use? Is it a solo project or did you work with others? There's just so much context you can include that we're really looking for. And if you're a programmer, even including code snippets would be amazing. And if you're including group projects, make sure you're really clear about what areas you contributed to. Using a combination of both images and video, I think is amazing. I love going through portfolios and especially if they have a quick video showing their whole thing, I'll, I'll happily sit there and watch it. Make sure you're really easy to contact. Make sure those contact details are all over your portfolio. So that's really easy for people like me, recruiters in the games industry, to contact you about job opportunities. If you can segment your portfolio into multiple different genres or art styles, that means when you apply to say a game studio that has a particular art style or genre, you can link that part of your portfolio. It really shows you've gone that extra step to personalize your application and also gives you the best chance of getting into interview because the game studio will notice that you're really into the genre or art style of games that they create. I hope you found that video helpful and see you in the next one.